Welcome to the content index, guys. I am pretty confident that you already saw the structure or the layout of the course. But anyways, I'm going to give you a very brief introduction on what we're going to be analyzing in this course. So section number one is this section, introduction to the course, to process modeling, to Aspen Heises. What are the typical goals, objectives? What do I want to get for you in this course? And how to get the most of this course? Then we jump to our chemical process. It's very important to understand our chemical process, our problem statement, what are our requirements, and why do we need to have a familiar process in order to be able to simulate it. So for instance, if you don't know how the process works in real life, most likely you are not going to be able to understand or simulate it. Then we go directly to the simulation, to the landing page, and to the physical property environment which is nothing more than setting up at least one component list with one component and the fluid package, which is a set of rules or models and equations, say flask or something like that, uh, which is going to model our substances, either as a pure substance, as a binary interaction, and so on. Then we continue with the simulation environment, which is the most of the time or what we're going to be spending the most. The first part is the flow sheet. We want to understand what is the flow sheet, why is it so important, and why do we need to know how to manipulate it. Afterwards, we go to simulation environment part number two. In this case, we see some unit operations. We get to know how to set them up how to add them, delete them, and add connectivity of different streams. Then we run it, and more importantly, get results and start analyzing them. Afterwards, I propose to use certain case studies in which we're going to change maybe temperature of some unit operations, pressure of certain streams, compositions, and so on. The idea is to see how a single input variable will change all our process conditions. And final conclusion, we are going to check out what we learned and what will be the next thing or the next course for you in order to continue your training.